Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point Terror from the Void. We are currently sending the teams across to do Seeking the Firebird and also the Time Vault. Uh, we've taken out the Citadels. Things are a bit calmer, a little bit calmer. Uh, there's still definitely threats out there on the world, uh, he says looking at the behemoth. Um, but there's not much we can do beyond sending the craft in that we're already doing. Um, so yeah. Fort Lock, I'm sorry, we're going to get there as quickly as we can, but you showing up at a really inconvenient time is the, the is short complete. of it. Food production is increased by 50%. We've got a load more food production coming in a day or so. Uh, so that's uh, that's definitely welcome. We're going to start to make a huge profit on uh, some of our trades. Now, uh, we have Silica Capture Technology coming in 10 hours. Uh, after that, we've got a lot of uh, a lot of little things uh, ticking through, and I think most of them we probably probably don't care about specifically enough to to bump them up. So we'll just let them come as uh, marketplace is new stock. Come visit. Great prices on vehicles and equipment. That's a new announcement. I like that. I like what they're doing with this mod. I really do. Phoenix Project Base is under attack. Phoenix Forward Command is under attack. Okay. It's not far away. We do have, like, the team right here. So, A-team, turn around. Construction complete. Okay, medical bay has been finished at one of the places, so that's going to make it a bit easier for us to heal up. We're almost there with the battle hawk to... I want to say defend this place, but... I'm not convinced that it's actually under attack anymore. I think... I think the behemoth is coming for it. I think that's what's happened. Yeah, the behemoth is on the move. It's targeting a haven previously visited by one of the stray flyers. Well, damn. Sorry, Fort Lock. There's not really much we can do. You're going to get absolutely mullered. Uh, we don't want to deploy just yet. We want to wait for the second half of the team. Research complete. Okay. So, the Scylla Captured Technology. This module consists of a large metal cage with advanced life support systems, shock absorbers, and security measures. It can be used to capture and transport fully paralyzed Scylla to our base for interrogation and analysis. The module can be used to capture more Pandorans or of other kinds as long as they fit inside the cage. Let's let's get one made. That's quite pricey. Uh, we're going to need a ship for it to go on as well. So probably we'll get another Helios on the go. Because the Helios is the fastest. Andorans have initiated a supply flight. Okay, let's bring you down to here and we'll send the craft to try and intercept it. In the meantime, let's defend this base. This is not what I was expecting to be doing on this mission. Uh, right. Only nine slots. Even though we've got the uh, mutoids there, they can't go in. Bit of a shame, but it is what it is. Main team's going to be fine. Okay, let's have a look at what we have. Uh, so we need to destroy the Sentinel. The Sentinel implies that there is one Sentinel, so we're still here pretty early. Uh, so I think, as, as per normal, uh, we're going to open up with... <laughs> Spot a frenzy, and 
Oh my word, that is that is the void down there. That is that is a missing texture on the base. Let's not send anyone down into that hole. I can um, I'd like to move in with someone who has stealth initially, just so we can get a scout into this room and see what's going on. Because there could be any, literally anything over here. So we'll start off running forwards. There's the sentinel. It is waking up, so we need to get it gone this turn. But there could be other things round the corner. Uh, let's move to there. Okay, it's just an egg. So we're relatively safe to move people up to this point and, and attack it. We can also uh, move Becky in and smack the moment an egg. Be right there. We'll get that done now so that we don't have to worry about it. Okay, bowl. We can't really get you in a position where you can actually hit it. So moving you slightly out of the way is probably going to help us more than anything. Ready, willing, and able. Kirsty, you definitely can get in a position to hit it and shoot it. I'm on the move. So we're going to target you up straight away. It's got 240 health, so we don't even need to do mark for death on it. Really. We can do some shooting and stripping. Oh, yeah, That's 140 damage done so far. And there it goes. So now, in theory, we just need to survive five turns. Now, we could pull everyone back to, to here and, like, hole up. But given some of us are already detected, I think we're going to have uh, plenty of mobs to deal with. So I'd rather do it in a place where we've got a bit of space to work. Uh, you can go on Overwatch with one action point. Ready. Let's... Maneuver Kirsty over here. Maximum effort. So that we've got space to move bowl up to I guess here. I think what we'll do is we'll we'll overwatch towards that edge there. And if that's where bowl's got to finish up, so be it. There might be mobs above us, there might be uh mobs down and around these corners there's there's a lot there, there's more of the void over there there's a lot of potential uh points of ingress so trying to cover all of them isn't always going to be easy uh let's bring hick across to this side that's going to give us really good lines down to the end and that's the kind of thing that i wanted to see right down there what we'll do is we'll or we'll overwatch, I guess, to just the entrance area. I'm not expecting anything else to come out, but I know that um, overwatching against these guys, we tend to shoot for centre mass, which is way too low. So it's not it's not going to be the best option. Uh, we can we can bring Nicole up as well. Let's put behind cover for now. I think. We could go there and get a bit of an angled over, which might not be the best. Coming over this side, you wouldn't even get in, in range. So if we're not going to get in range, let's uh, let's, let's move up go. and tuck into cover. Uh, we want to get I was born a ready. turret out as well. Ready, willing, and able. Possibly on this corner, actually. Because there could be stuff that appears behind us later on. Let's see where we can throw turrets to. We can get turrets all the way to the end, actually. Let's do that. Tech drop. We'll get our first turret all the way out here. 
Then next up, Xavier. You can't overwatch for one, so I think we'll get you in and tuck you in here for now. Or we can move you all the way around that edge. Yeah, let's put you all the way around this edge. A long distance you can travel. Okay, Mario. Put your forwards on this side and overwatch with the crossbow. We could also put you up top, but for now I think let's let's not overextend. The thing about uh, these missions is they encourage you to overextend and, and separate your team. And we definitely don't want to be doing that unnecessarily. Uh, Isaac, we can move you up to here and just move you in next turn. I think Ooh, we could actually pull you out a little. It's not going to be too far, too dangerous. Here's the targets. Umbra's going to appear, but we've got time to set up Overwatch for that. Oh, missed with the first shot. Killed him, though. I do like these, uh, these base defense missions. They've done a very good job of making it interesting. Hick's going to be able to... Ah! That was quite the shot from all the way back here. Hick's going to be able to shoot at this guy. We're all covered in mist, so maybe bringing Mario over here would actually be useful for clearing that out. Being in the mist is not going to be a good thing. So if we're going to sort that with Mario, we're going to want the Watcher turret. Let's swing round. Okay, we can hit it if we move Isaac. But let's move Isaac forwards a little. One problem solved. We'll bring Mario across to here. Going in. We could also pull back, but I think uh, being here is fine for getting decoys in place. And potentially shooting our friend Before down the end. He's a ghost, so he's gonna totally vanish as soon as we hit him. And he's behind um, the Arthur and the Acheron, so not great. Really, we want Mario a little bit further across so that he doesn't get hit by by the mist when it comes out again. So we're not going to get a decoy in this turn. Shake it, baby. But we can get some just general shooting in place. Okay, that actually worked well for Nicole. Uh, we have been marked for death, but we can set up an overwatch shot. 
so we can finish this guy off with a plink plink. At least we could have done if we got lucky. We didn't get lucky. We'll overwatch down all the way to the end. Pick. It'd be really nice if you could kill or certainly injure. That, that angling is so weird. So we know we could uh, we could shoot the acre on absolutely no problem. But honestly. I can't see the target behind. Alright, well, we'll hit the Acorn once and then we'll go on Overwatch. going to need to do a quick aim on our friend in front. I think that's the uh, the best option here. Confirming target. Cuz if we could take him off the board it's going to simplify things. Nope, didn't get him. Style missed. Try again. It's far enough back. Probably wouldn't be able to get a grenade on him either. Mm. So close. The frustration is real. Ooh, we might be able to just catch him with a grenade. But it starts to get a little bit sketchy doing this. Because of the scatter, we could end up hitting the ceiling. Maybe I should have used the VDAR, actually. Hey, got him. Cool. That's going to allow us to reposition. So let's pull across to here with that. We don't want to overexpose ourselves. And we don't want to put ourselves in the firing line for other people either. So it's a, it's a bit of a balancing act. Okay, turret has already shot this turn. We can get another turret out. Bowl, we can get you to here and go on Overwatch down into into the corridor. So Mario, you're kind of waiting where you are. My turn. Becky can kill one but not the other of those eggs. So Kirsty. Could you kill one as well, trigger. please? That's going to allow us to move Becky up. Saves us a little bit of ammo, is what I'm thinking. Aline, we're going to bring you up to here and throw another turret in, I think. Uh, this one we will put quite squarely there.
Um, we could do electric reinforcement. I don't think it's strictly necessary. Let's uh, let's pull into the open just a little. In fact, you know what? Moving I'm going to put position. you on this corner so you can watch behind us down here in case anything appears next turn. So, what have we got? We've got Kirsty still able to, to move and fight. I'll be right there. So, we'll get up to here. We'll do another Overwatch. Nothing's getting past me. And lastly, Xavier, you have a panic problem. If we get you to read the mist. That solves an immediate issue, but doesn't really help you out much, much. We knew that guy was going to vanish, so I guess that's fine. It's, uh, it's not I'm great, here. but it is what it is. First Umbra. <laughs> Hit him again, that is a really accurate weapon. We're going to need to get some medical s support on that. Okay. Okay, big hits on the Acheron. It can't move forwards any further than that because of our Umbra friend. So it's kind of stuck in the way. And it's dead. I like that. Everyone gets a little bit more will Has that injured but alive for now this could be a pa little painful oh oh it's not too bad worms or myrmidons there's something burrowing down towards the team small multiple targets bearing in on the hangar we could burn them out of the base, but that's not what we want to do. Okay. The ghost is panicked. And now it can't hide. Love to see it. Standing by. Mario, come to here. Oh, actually, no, we'll get... Xavier's going to sort out his own health issues. Uh, we're going to do that by swapping over like this and just applying straight. Rest. Then we can breathe the mist to clear it out, and that's all we can do this turn. But it means we're not going to panic. Even five with... Five. Even with losing 14 willpower, we're not going to panic on that. Tarot can hit that a little. I'm prepared. What we'll do is we'll get Kirsty to step in behind and swap over. Oh, actually, Becky's already got the vampiric Ready for action. thing. We're going to hit it with a vampiric one. That's going to heal us up. <laughs> Healed us up quite nicely, actually. So those turrets can't actually see anything else. Right, let's Ready get Mario action. to clear some of the mist out. 
if we walk to here and then round to here and then down to here makes it a lot easier to manage Hick technically is in the mist but I think we're gonna we're gonna bring Hick forwards to here and try and get a shot on this ghost if we do it as a quick aim we'll get a shot and get to go on overwatch but I think I'd rather the accuracy Ah, oh, made no difference. Absolutely no difference. Okay, let's uh, let's keep bringing the team together. Let's pull more turrets in. Move in a bit closer and then sling a turret out. Moving now. Kirsty, we can actually put you just here and get you killing the fireworm. I'm on the move. Ready to engage. Take that. Makes things Hostile a bit safer destroyed. for us. We don't need to worry about it appearing. That's what I'm thinking with it. Uh, Becky will keep moving you forwards. We know that there is at least another Arthron in there. So let's get ourselves another turret into the entry area. Tech drop. Okay, people who can still act. Oh. What's your shot like on this guy? It's not terrible, actually. He's not going to regen, so he's just going to be bleeding out at this point. Let's overwatch down in case anything comes through that entrance. Isaac, you've got three Vidar grenades. We could get them all out this turn and try and like clear some of that mist so we've got better visibility. move you in a little we'll go boom blast that is not what I was hoping for the angles just wrong it is just wrong all right well clear what you can there It did, it did a little, but really not worth talking about. Let's just hunker down. Get the extra armor and try and have things shoot us instead of anyone else. We know we've got the, uh, the Myrmidons potentially coming down or worms, so let's do a bit of overwatch and see where they appear. And long range overwatch for if this thing moves. Hopefully there's no friendly fire. 
Oh, those worms appeared quickly, didn't they? No real warning of where they were going to drop either. Dazed him. That is a very lucky overwatch shot. Very lucky. I thought we would um, we would get something a bit closer to the centre there, but apparently not. Oh, I'm right next to the turret as well. Okay, more worms and myrmidons coming in. Let's uh, start off. He's got a head, he's got a leg. He has a pincer and that's all he has. So he cannot fight. If he can't fight, we turn our attention to the next thing. thing is really just could be so easy. Matter. Uh, Becky. Let's um let's go for adrenaline rush. Whew. That's gonna allow us to be nice and efficient about these kills. Target in sight. Oh yeah. I'm on the move. This is going to be satisfying. Right. Get our action points back for that. <laughs> move in, focus on the next one. And we are going to go for exertion <laughs> so we can keep going. Now at this point, we can't do any more without assistance, but we do have assistance. So we'll get an onslaught. Come on, we can do this. That's going to allow us to keep keep moving. I think there's a worm up above. Right, this turret. Going after the worms primarily. Mm, it's not brilliant shot and angle. We can mind control the worms as well. So I'm kind of tempted. Get Mario to go up top, kill whatever this thing is. get eyes across the other side for us. It does reveal us, but it also gives us knowledge about that. So, bowl, step in and bash, I think. Because doing a takedown is going to be super efficient. Or Mind Crush, actually. Do we have Mind Crush? We don't have Mind Crush yet. We could Mind Control the other one and get it to just explode. This guy's going to call reinforcements at the end of his turn. All right, let's uh, try and get some poison on him to help out. Oh, 
So we do want to kill him sooner rather than later. We can we can be a bit efficient. We can mark him for death and shoot him further. Especially given Kirsty's got this uh, acquiring target weapon, which is pretty efficient. It's not amazing, amazing, but it's going to allow us to put a good amount of damage on him quickly. Enemy Ready hit. Fire. In theory. The theory is is a lot of it. Nice. I don't think it's worth us getting a shot on him from above. But we can right there. tuck into this corner. And we can overwatch for him running away. But I think trying to get a shot on him is going to be smarter. So we'll do a quick aim with Hick. In the leg. And then we can overwatch and he should, he should die. In fact, let's make sure he dies. Don't want any reinforcements coming in. Targeting. Gotcha. Right, he's definitely gone. No two Online. ways around it. That guy is too big for us to kill in one go. We could get Hick to take another shot at the other guy, but I yes. think we might be able to see with Nicole. I love having so many capable people. That looked like it was bang on target, but... I guess not. I guess not. So, big overwatch down here. Save it. If we're going to do something worthwhile with you, stepping forwards, okay. shooting this right guy, in. couple of hits. Isaac, I think we're gonna step in and take out the fireworm we could also take out this guy here but we're we're starting to run out of options you know bring bring Becky back to here and we'll we'll do like a, a bash on this that will give us more will points. We don't need more healing, but it'll be it'll be efficient in terms of what we're doing. Isaac can step in, and then yeah, we'll just do a bash with the radar because we don't want the fireworm going off. And in theory, that allows us to move up into a nice kind of blocking position on this uh, this doorway. So we can get Hick to, uh, to do an overwatch on our sniper friend. Or we can do a quick aim shot on him. Let's go for the quick aim shot.
He is going to spawn an Umbra, but that's fine, I think. Okay, bowl. Little... Little bit of overwatch down here. Do what you can. Mario, we can actually kill and run you kind of uh, towards the target now. Now that that Triton's gone, feels a little bit safer. Becky will tuck you back in here. And Aline, we can get another turret out in the way or get like some electric reinforcement on everyone. Moving to position. Okay, that feels all right. We can also get a turret out. Ha! Okay, well, we'll do... We'll do a turret just behind here, I think. And that'll do for this turn. So there's going to be more worms and stuff up here, potentially. Yeah. Worms and Myrmidons. So we can turn around and set up some kind of defensive line behind us. It's another hammer target. I thought we would have some good overwatch on that, but apparently it was a little trickier. Okay, turrets first. Who can see what? You can see this worm. Apparently you can't shoot it though. Luckily we have more. Uh, now is actually a really good time for us to do some mind control. If we can get the Myrmidon's will down. If we can, take out his shield. He fumbled his return fire. Interesting. We ended up doing a lot of damage on the shield itself. Not, I can make it <coughs> not ideal. Huh. So much the same as we did before. Adrenaline rush. Step round. Hit him. One turn that we need to survive. Isaac, there are two Myrmidons up on the top. I think this is an ideal opportunity for grenades. I really do. So let's do a boom blast. Up on the balcony. Drops it down nicely so we should be able to see it effectively. And we're going to do the same over on the other one as well. It's just a regular Myrmidon. This one's an Acid Myrmidon. So the Acid Myrmidon is, is clearly dangerous uh, because it can explode, but we have people that can deal with that. If we mind control, or can't quite mind control that one. Right, we'll kill this one. So Xavier. OK. 
killed it. That dropped the willpower of this one down. Interesting. I thought that with 18 willpower we'd be able to... Oh, it's got 22. Jeez. Okay, it's fine. We'll, um... We'll shoot it. In the torso, that drops its willpower and then we'll mind control it. We only need to survive one more turn. This is the only thing we know about. So that might be safe enough for us to finish up. But we're going to tuck Becky in just in case. Maybe have just a little look around. I don't see anything extra over here though. There we go. We captured the Myrmidon. And we made it through without any significant injuries at the end. So very happy with that. Okay, well, we've successfully repelled the invasion. The base is saved for now. That's a, that's a good result in what could be a pretty dangerous situation. Uh, we do need to... Uh, still deal with the flyer and uh, poor Fortlock is going to get absolutely mullered. Where is this flyer at the moment? Under here. Probably heading down for one of the havens. That was it. Um, but we're going to have to do that next time because uh, we have run out of time. We've had a lot of uh, very long episodes recently so we need to uh, to start streamlining as much as we can so thank you very much for coming along everyone i do hope you have enjoyed this uh as always if you have enjoyed it be sure to give a big thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and do so and you'll be told when the next episode goes live otherwise i'll see you next time for another episode of phoenix point terror from the void see you soon <laughs>